I am not a rookie trainer. Man, the nervous on people. Hey guys, Thunder here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we went to the desert, uh, got a fossil, turned into a Pokemon, and well, now we are in Petalburg. And well, I've been doing some stuff off screen, as you saw by some of the, some of the things before this video, I put some stuff in there. But I've also been grinding, of course, because this next gym is quite difficult. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it, but I feel like I am not nearly as screwed as I would as I would have been. Uh, I'm just going to make sure I have some good stuff. I have a lot of super potions. I don't think I that might be a lot. Uh, I don't think they do, but I just want to check if they sell hyper potions. Yeah, I forgot how many gym badges I need for that. But anyway, in this episode, we are going to take on the Petalburg Gym. We fight our, uh, fight our dad, Norman. A man in pursuit of power. Yeah, we're gonna take it on today. Hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Thunder? The doors in this gym open when you beat the waiting trainers. Whoops, the doors in this room are already open, so don't attack me. The trainers of Pelber Gym use all kinds of items. The door at the left leads to the speed room. The door at the right leads to the accuracy room. The room's name will be on the door, so choose carefully. Once you've chosen the door, well, hey, go for it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is how it works. Yeah, they have... Yeah, they, they have these rooms and... Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting place. It works differently than a lot of gyms. I'm kind of thinking about how I'm going to go about this. Hmm... I'm, I I kind of use Iden a bit because I really want him to get up to um to the point where he evolves. Um, I like to mention, yeah, I was wrong. He evolves at level 32, so yeah, I want to get up to that point. He's actually he's actually got to the point where he's pretty underdeveloped because I mean, while he still has the highest defense, it's only margin. It's only barely. It's it's a bit marginal. Um, if I take too long to think, I'll cut until I make my decision. I'm gonna go into the speed room. I don't really remember what each doors are, but um, like, like the exact the exact doors. Just, I'll try to I'll try to figure it. So I'll just figure it out as I go along. We well, got Randall. And he's got a swallow. I'm not really concerned about this. I'm not really concerned about the whole speed deal because Iden has a lot of defense. Yeah, as a, I mean, while he is a little underdeveloped due to not having a very high level, uh, he does have... Oh, you little fuck. Really? Okay, let's do that again, then. Yeah, he's got a lot of defense, though. Hope this doesn't miss. Oh, yeah, by the way, he learned Iron Tail. It's a powerful move. 100 power... But it's, still, it's got 75% accuracy, so I'm honestly surprised I hit both of those. That was magnificent. And now both these doors are open. This is the fence room. And this is... Confusion room! Nope! Nope, 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 nope. Definitely taking the defense room. You got a, a wiggly tough. You tough. Uh, I will, I will do Iron Tail again. Yeah, wiggly, wiggly tough is very well tough. And yeah, that's good. I forgot, I forgot I can lower defense. Can Iron Tail and wow, I'm having, I'm actually having some quite good luck of this. Nice. Yeah, I kind of raffle stomped through them. Okay, 
Next. One hit KO room. Oh. And this is strength room. Hmm. <laughs> um, one hit KO room sounds kind of scary. <laughs> I, f I guess I forgot what that does. I forgot, I forgot what's in there. I almost want to be an idiot and go in there anyway. Hmm. I don't want to chance any fighting moves because again, I want to get I want Aiden to get more XP. Hmm. I don't want so I don't want any fighting moves, but yeah, I forgot what was in either room, so I'll just go into the strength room. I think. Oh, and I think oh yeah, this is the last room. Yes, I know. Zangoose. Yeah, Zangoose could be pretty tough. I think I'm gonna do Metal Claw. Oh yeah, this could be quite tough, actually. Please do a lot. Oh, damn. Oh, please tell me he doesn't have... I don't know if he has any fighting type moves, but he he could very well have Crush Claw. Oh dear. Um, please don't have Crush Claw. Oh, of course you would do that. Please don't. Let's slash and. Okay. Please don't miss. All right. Still not dead. You know, you could have gotten a good attack on me. You could have gotten a good hit in. But now you just use Sword Stance again. It's fine by me. And yet, I did not get him a level. Used items, that's what you did. But anyway, if I remember, that is it. <laughs> I think Norman is in the next room. And I'm going to use a potion. Sadly, I don't have any low-level potions anymore, so I'll have to use a super... Yep, gym leader's room. Uh, I'm a bit nervous to fight Norman. He is quite good. Not really surprised. Not really surprising, but he is. But yeah, he's quite good. Hmm. So you did. You did get four gym badges. Fine. As I promised, we'll have a Pokemon battle. Thunder. I'm so happy that I can have a real battle with my own child. But a battle's a battle. I'll do everything in my power to as a gym leader to win. Thunder, you better give it your best shot too. Norman is very tough. Don't be fooled by the fact that he's a normal type gym leader, because he's he's got a he's got a few very tough Pokemon. The Spinda is not one of them though. It does have something very annoying though, and it's it's that. <laughs> Tear dance. Oh no. Oh God damn. Wow, good start! Good start, huh, guys? <laughs> Crossing my fingers. There we go. Come on, Aiden. That was good. Let me use Metal Claw. One more reliable hit. That out confusion. Nicely done. I'm surprised this doesn't kill. All right, that's good. Should get him a level. Or I could give him 490 XP. Oh. <laughs> Here's the slacking. Oh, no. <laughs> this is what I was fearing. I hate this slacking. He is very tough. Very tough. Oh, he does have one drawback. He has an... He has an... He has an ability called Truant. Basically, what this does is that... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, it's not... Please lower his accuracy. Thank you. Basically, he can only, he can only move... He can, he, can, he can only move every other turn. As you saw, like, slacking his loafing around. And also, that's a move I'm afraid of. Counter. Oh, God. That did more than I was expecting. That's not good. 
I'm not sending Aiden out there. He will get murdered. Um. Uh, yeah, Aiden will get murdered out there because if I use because uh, I, he only has physical moves and yeah, that is another move I'm afraid of. And wait, do I not have any revives? Oh my, oh dear, I only have three. I do not. I better make them count. All oh, right, that's good. Stun spore, stun spore. If I have some luck, this could be quite good for me. But I failed! Okay... Yeah, this... I am just absolutely terrified of this slacking. I'm just waiting for him to hurt me. Slacking is loafing around. Um... Do I want... Do I chance it of Mock Punch? No. If you don't know, counter... Oh, good. I can, I can use a Mach Punch this turn, because he's gonna be low. This is loafing around turn. He might use an item. I know he has a Citrus Berry! Oh! That was good. That was quite good, actually. Oh, it might still be in that range, though. Ah, damn it. Of course. Of course you'd use a Hyper Potion. That was, that was pretty lucky, though. Come on, Siren. We're doing good. We're doing good. I'm gonna just keep all training between Mega Drain and Mock Punch. Because he can't use count- he can't counter this. And then Mock Punch is super effective. Yeah, there you go. Counter failed. That's- that's why I was doing that. Because- because he counter- Basically, it counters any physical move and then returns it with double the damage. Absolutely terrifying. Oh, but if he uses facade, it's gonna be really bad. I just thought about that. Oh, he just threw it away. He used the yawn. Okay. It's gonna be a short episode, isn't it? And that's his. That is his biggest threat down. Although, the rest of them aren't exactly a walk in the park. Here we got Vigoroth. Well, they're definitely not going to be as bad as that Slack King, but they're definitely not going to be as bad as that... They're definitely not as bad, they're gonna be as, bad as that Slack King, but they're not going to be... They're not going to be too bad. Vigoroth could do some decent damage, but, well, not if he does that. I think Aiden's probably be pretty good against him. Okay. Oh, my attack rolls at least. Yeah, if he just keeps using fan attack, I'll be fine. So this is gonna be a pretty short episode because this is going a lot smoother than I was expecting. Wow, wrecked. Get wrecked, son. Or um, get wrecked, get wrecked, father. <laughs> get wrecked, dad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was not cringeworthy at all. Uh, let's see here. Linoon. What do I want? To, who do I want to use? I, I want to get again. I want to get Aiden some XP, so I'm just gonna keep him out there. This is his last Pokemon. All oh, right, Linoon has Belly Drum. It cuts its own HP in half, but it maximizes its attack. <laughs> Except Aiden didn't need to worry about that, it seems. So, we beat Norman! I... I can't... I can't believe it. Thunder... I lost a Thunder? But... <laughs> wow, um... <laughs> nice! <laughs> That's a nice thing to say. <laughs> totally. But, rules are rules. Here, take this. With that badge, the defense of all your Pokémon will increase. Pokémon that know the HM move Surf will be able to travel over water. This is my gift to you, Thunder. I'm sure you can use it correctly. 
We got the TM42, which is definitely not a bad move by any means because it is Facade. It doubles the power if the, po if the Pokemon has a status issue. As a gym leader, I can't express how upset I am. But as a fodder, it makes me both happy and a little sad. It's odd. Wait. Uh, you look familiar. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you are, Thunder. Please come with me. I have something I want you to have. Norman, you don't mind, do you? Let me borrow your Thunder for a minute or two. <laughs> yes! Uh, yes, okay. Because I'm a thing. <laughs> that just didn't sound right. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just didn't sound right, okay? Thunder, please excuse me. Please excuse us for dragging you here this way. But our Wally's become very healthy since he went to Verdenturf Town. We owe it all to you. When Wally left town, you helped him catch a Pokemon, right? I think, that's, I think that made Wally really happy. Actually, not just Wally. It made him, it made his, made me, his father, happy, too. Happy that he's getting such a great friend as you. This isn't a bribe or anything, but I'd really like you to have this. And we get... <gasps> yes, the HM free. Do you, do you know what this is? It's Surf. It's Surf. My favorite HM. Why? Because I always use the water types. I always pick the water type starters and just... Look. 95 power, 100% accuracy. One of the strongest, one of the strongest moves we can, it's one of the strongest moves that have been available to us so far. So, hell yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach this move. I'm gonna replace Water Gun. Finn needed a move like this, and now he's gotten it. And also, there is the added bonus that we can use Surf to reach new places. That's interesting to note. But that's pretty much all we have to do in Petalburg. And we still got a we still got a little bit of time, so I might I might show something off here. It shouldn't take too long. But yeah, since we have surf, we can now go along. We can now go al go along the water. Remember the way to um Duford. Remember that remember that was a that was that was entirely water. We could go over that now. Which is definitely, definitely a nice thing. And I might... There actually is some stuff we could we could do over there. So I'm probably going to, um... I'm probably going to move towards there. For a little bit. Because, I mean, we're not even at 20 minutes yet. I want to... Uh, I'll probably go until I reach about 20 minutes or so. But here is the water. And I'm going to use a repel because I don't like I don't like to encounter these Pokemon. Anyway. The water has died a deep blue. Would you like to surf? Oh, it feels good to get back to doing this. It feels good to start surfing again. By the way, I'm pretty sure Mr. B Mr. Bernie will not take will not take you on the ship anymore now that you have surf, so there is there is that little issue. I really want to get Aiden some extra... Like, I really want him to get, him, get some XP, but... These trainers will be pr pretty bad. They're, they're going to be pretty bad for him to deal with. But yeah, I'll... But yeah, I'm going to make a little progress down here. If I'm not if I'm not at the... Uh, if I'm not where I want to be... I'll probably uh, cut, although... Like, I'll probably... Um, I mean, I'll probably just do it off, get there off screen, but you probably know what it is already. Because if you've been watching, if you watched the whole series or at least a lot of like, the early parts, you might remember that along this route, when we uh, were heading to Slateport, there was. Oh, there was. A sh there was a ship. That was just sit. It was a standing. It was a sitting there. Dang it. And, uh. Yeah, that's where we're, that's where we're going because now we have surf. We can actually go go to that ship. Yeah, I might start speeding up a little bit. And there's also something I want to take note of. I don't remember where it is. It's all right. It's over here. Just real quick. Yeah, I think I will be doing some stuff off screen here. I feel, but. Hmm. Well, I don't know, because it seems like it seems like there are some trainers around here, but there's one thing in particular I would like to show, and it's this. 
What is here, you may ask? Well, it's quite interesting. I don't know if I'll be touching upon it in this Let's Play, but we'll see. I'm going. I'm going to fight those trainers. I think. So give me a minute, and this will probably be the last thing I do in this episode. And actually, Finn will evolve again at level 36. So I'm definitely going to. So that's definitely something to make note of, and why. Please, please die. There we go. Well, that's an issue. So I think that's so I think that's gonna be good for this episode. So I'll be sure to stick around next time when we're going to head off to that ship. I've been Thunder, I'll be signing off, and I'll see you next time. Stay frosty, fellas!